friends this is santosh rathi and today we are going to start with the hello my dear friends my name is santosh rathi and i am here to teach you the topic that is refraction of light through the surfaces okay why particularly surfaces are written over here because refraction can occur through lenses also and these are the curved surfaces but we are interested in the plane surfaces for this sum okay now see these are the different materials available over here first one is a diamond second one is a glass third one is a water next is a air that is a vacuum you can say approximately both are having a same light speed light speed is same in the air yes uh, and also in the vacuum that is approximately 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second but if light is changing the medium say for example to the water the light cast speed will be 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now if again the medium is changed from water to glass the speed of light i am converting from their mile to the meter per second is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second there is a decrease in the speed of light why is it so because there is a change in medium. So what exactly is happening there? There is a change in the speed. Because there is a change in the speed of light, there will be a bending of light. As you can realize this refraction phenomenon with this beautiful example given here, refraction of light in the day-to-day -day life, you can see here the two examples. See the bending of the pencil. The pencil is straight in the air, but once it is steeped inside the water, as you can see it on the screen, it got bent. It got bent, the reason being, it got bent, the reason being, why? Suppose the light ray is coming from here, the tip of the t, uh, pencil, and light ray is coming like this. First, it is traveling from water to the air. That means there is a change in the medium. Light is transferring from one transparent medium to another transparent medium, that is, from the water to the air as you can see it on the screen. Light is traveling from water to the medium. That means light is changing the medium. And light is changing the medium. It means the light speed is either increasing or decreasing. Here is the case of increase in the speed of light from 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second to the 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. It's my mistake that is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. As there is a change in the speed of light, light must bend. There must be some phenomenon that is because of the change in light speed. Suppose this is a called as a refraction. An earlier stage you learned the reflection. There is a no change in the medium. That is light is traveling from one medium and it is bouncing back in the same medium you can say. Light is bouncing back in the same medium. That means in the reflection there is a no change in speed. There is a only reflection that is only coming in the same medium. Light is coming back in the same medium. But here is the case there is a light is tra traveling from one medium to another medium. There is one more example. See, for example, you can see, you must wonder that the water level inside the swimming pool is up to here. Here. But once you enter in the water, the water level is somewhere here. Oh, what this happened exactly to you? Here is not akoka dhoka. You can say there is some phenomenon which is happening over there that is known as refraction of light. That means the light rays which are coming which are coming from this medium, we can say it here, from this medium that is water to the air, here is a change in the speed of light. There is a change in speed of light, it means there is a bending of light. And because of that bending, it appears to be raised. It appears to be raised, the swimming pool depth appears to be raised. This phenomenon, where is there is a change in the direction of path of the light. When it passes from one transparent medium to another transparent medium, then it is called as a refraction of light. Okay, this is a beautiful definition I wrote over here on the screen. You can write it down. So keep noting guys with me. Now, exactly we can divide the phenomenon in three cases. That is light is traveling suppose from rarer to dense or denser to rarer or dense, uh, same medium like it is coming normally. Say for example, light is coming from air to water it is called air is called rarer as compared to water because the air cast speed is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and water mass speed is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second 
मतलब देर इज अ डिक्रीज इन द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इट मीन्स देर इज अ डिक्रीज इन द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इट मीन्स लाइट इज कमिंग इन द डेंसर मीडियम डी फॉर डिक्रीज डी फॉर डेंसर If light is coming from one medium to another medium, the speed of light is decreasing. It means that medium is denser. Speed of light is decreasing. It means optically denser. If I am precisely telling, it is called optically denser. So here is the example: light is coming from rarer medium to the denser medium, and when it goes from rarer medium to the denser medium, there is a phenomenon. There is a change in a medium. It is called as refraction of light. This phenomenon is called as refraction of light, and here it is. The, we are seeing the case of rarer to denser. Now, suppose the light ray is coming like this. It is coming from rarer, and it will bend this like this. मतलब light is coming like this. It is bending like this. It means it is coming from rarer to denser. It will bend towards the normal. Rarer to denser, it will bend towards the normal. But if it is coming from denser medium, just like you have can see here, water or glass to the air. In earlier case, it falls from air to the glass. But in this case, you can say the light is coming from glass to the air. There is a change in the medium. Yes, of course, there is a change in medium. But along with that, there is you one thing which you can recognize the medium was here denser to rarer in earlier case it was rarer to denser in rarer to denser light like, bends like this but in denser to rarer light like, bend like that it means it is bending away from the normal this is the dotted light right this is the away from the normal ka phenomenon but what if the light is coming normally suppose this is the change in medium so here is a air here is a glass light is coming like this and it will travel like this only this is called as normal incidence it means light is coming like this it will go like this only this is the normal incidence for normal incidence for normal incidence angle of incidence is zero and angle of refraction is also zero it is not reflection not it down it is refraction why angle i and angle r is zero because angle of incidence is the angle between incident ray and the normal this is the incident ray this is the normal this is the refracted ray and this is the normal angle with refracted ray and the normal is called as angle of refraction and angle of incidence in this case is zero so we learned here three cases that is from rarer to denser from denser to rarer and from normal incidence normal incidence is straight forward angle i is zero angle r is zero that is light is traveling